Hey everybody, it's Jay, and I wanted to talk about one of my best cutting swords. And it was kind of a surprise to me, because I didn't really buy it to be a good cutter. I bought it because I liked the look of it. This is my TFW Chris number 4. And what makes this one a number 4? They have a bunch of different blade shapes, but this one is what I most commonly associate or think about whenever I think about a Chris which is what they often call a flame sword. I've heard it called a snake sword. But you can see why, because the blade is real wavy. So the notable thing about this sword besides the appearance is the heft. It has a very, as Scholagrim would say, lively feel. It swings very well. When I first got the sword and I took it out of the scabbard, my first thought was, this feels like a sword. It really does feel like something that is easy to wield and easy to move around. The, in addition to the blade being pretty ornate, I'm trying to do this without slicing my hand open, the hilt itself, the guard in particular, is also very ornate these cutouts here, this brass accent that hooks around the bottom of the guard, brass here, and then a very nice, very comfortable, semi-polished wood hilt. And it just feels super nice in the hand. Now what makes this such a good cutter, in my opinion, for one it is quite sharp, it is not razor sharp, typically you don't want a razor sharp edge on a sword for dur durability purposes, but it is really sharp. Um, even running your finger across it, you can tell that it wants to bite, which is good. The other thing that makes it a really good cutter is the edge geometry is quite good, and the blade geometry itself is really good. It's a very slim, very narrow blade that just slips through targets really easily. One of the challenges, though, is because of this, I think, of this blade shape, it tends to be pretty challenging to cut with. So what I have discovered is I have to be really, really careful with my edge alignment because it's not very forgiving. And what I think the reason that is is because your actual cutting edge, your leading edge, is different depending on where your target hits the blade. It's my assumption, I don't know for sure, because whenever I do get really good edge alignment, this thing is really easy to cut with. I've cut water bottles quite a few times with it. I've cut tatami mat now. This is the first sword that I had that would actually go through a tatami mat. And I didn't go all the way through on a couple hits. And then I had one hit where I guess I just lined it up just right and it just slipped right through. And I actually kind of overspun a little bit on my swing because I wasn't expecting it to uh, to make it through so easily. And it did. They offer these in a few different blade shapes and styles, different models that might be a little more suited to cutting. Uh, but again, I wanted this one because to me it's, it's extremely unique looking. It does have a very nice needly point and even just doing that it was wanting to poke into my finger pretty good and it has this downswept edge to it so it doesn't go straight out it actually cuts straight down now supposedly chris swords like this were mainly used knives mainly used for ceremonial purposes they do have some historical pictures of these up on the TFW website. TFW, by the way, stands for Traditional Filipino Weapons. Um, and the one that they show, there's one of this that looks almost identical, as far as I can tell from the pictures. Uh, the maker's mark is quite small and classy looking, just says TFW. And I really don't have much in the way of complaints about this sword. One thing that I did notice when it came in is there were a few... I would say there are a few marks that look like they could be rust marks. Uh, they did polish out, but in the process of polishing them out, I ended up kind of scuffing the glossy finish a little bit. It could also be because this is stored and shipped in 
this wood scabbard. Now this wood scabbard is seems well made. It's well put together. It has a really light, almost cork feel to it. So I'm not sure what kind of wood that is. They say that they use all native wood that comes from the Philippines and these are made in the Philippines as well. So that could be why, um, is that it was, it came in the scabbard, maybe collected some moisture on this blade. I don't remember offhand what the blade uh, is made of, what kind of steel it's made of, but it is a high carbon steel. So yeah, it's, um, it's just a neat, it's a neat sword. <laughs> it's really cool looking. I like it. I like it a whole lot and it is really fun to cut with, but a little bit challenging, like I mentioned. So, um, I'm interested in getting some more stuff from TFW because if this is any indication of what they can do, I think that they probably make some pretty high quality stuff. So a little different, a little unique piece, something that realistically doesn't fit a whole lot in with a lot of other stuff that I have collection wise, but it is eye catching, gorgeous, feels great in the hand, um, seems well made, good material. So yeah, this is Jay. Hope you liked the video. Please click like if you did. Be sure to subscribe to us if you haven't already and check out the link to our Patreon page if you're interested in helping support us. And we'll see you again soon next time.